the sill. So that is simply down to cork being used. The cork has shrunk back and the cracks appeared. I'm just going to remove this. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, small piece of masking tape into that corner just to protect the frame. Diluted PVA. Because I've got burr plaster. That will seal the plaster and help the foam bond. Simply put the nozzle in. Plastic nozzle will collapse so I can get this where I need it. So there's only a small amount used here and so I'll leave that for about an hour and then we'll cut it back. This has been curing now for an hour so I'll just cut it back. in the sill, the gap is in the sill against the wall. I'm cutting to the wall first and then I can just clear it off the wall. It really is as easy as that. some warm sandpaper just to give it a light rub over
Get the dust off. I just want to make sure that there's no foam proud. So if it needs it, just tap the foam back a little bit more. Ready for filling. So all I've done is mix up some powder filler. You can, if you want, use ready mixed. Depends what you've got to hand. But I always use powder filler. Because I don't have to use it, it can stay in the storeroom and it's ready for using all the time. Whereas something that's ready mixed has a tendency to go off in the tube. That's it. I'm ready for painting. Leave it to dry. Not a problem. Best way to do it.